Good afternoon, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes coming to you on a nice spring day in North Carolina. I'm looking at a house we just finished here, so I'm going to do a walkthrough of it and describe what we what we attempted to do here. Anyway, but while I'm in this neighborhood, this is the last lot we had in this neighborhood, but I don't know if that house looks familiar. We built that one, we built that one up there, we built that one up there. We built this one here, the Quinn model. There's another version of the Quinn we built here. I think we did 13 houses in this development, so it's kind of fun to be back here. Kind of sad that I won't be here anymore. But this house called the Jordan 2, we just, just putting the finishing touches on, doing some final touch-up for this fine young man that we built for. Um, see, the job is, ju the job is just landscaped. Um, we just did a basic landscaping because this gravel driveway, we're going to be tearing it up and put a... Uh, concrete driveway in there later but for now um, there's a reason he's gonna build a detached garage back there so if we put a nice new driveway there they would just have to bring a bunch of concrete trucks and trucks over it and we don't want to tear it up or you have to pump all your concrete so we decided to wait and integrate that into the garage once it's built into the detached but anyway in our drainage ditch here we put some matting to try to help, to help let the seed germinate and get a root system going uh, to control the erosion and just put straw and seed and some basic shrubs for now because just to get them in the house um this one with this this we modified this jordan 2 and made it into a three car three car garage instead of a two car um it's done that nice blue color that's really in vogue nowadays we have a dormer i'll show you that in the bonus room hope the wind's not too bad here making it hard to hear Anyway, I'll go over some of our standard features. Well, we did a, wainscot, a stone wainscoting up to the bottom of the windows. We don't always do that, but that's what uh, the style this gentleman wanted. We like shutters that we build, not the plastic ones. They're a little bit more money. We like them a lot better. And we call those Queen Anne returns. That area comes back as a return. And I like, like it when it has a roof and it wraps around and has a gutter. I think that's just a much nicer look. And we have a horizontal, we call it hardy plank lap siding but that's a the mold that's a concrete fiberboard siding and the mold is used to, rep, to recreate a cedar board and then we've got shake up top to, um, made to look like cedar shake but the nice thing about that product is it will never rot or chip or peel on you it's pretty much a forever product you do have to paint it but it holds paint a lot better a lot better than wood if you don't keep up on your paint it's it may not look as fresh as brand new paint, but it won't rot and fall off you. It has like wood does. And we also put a, that product called Miratec around the sides of the windows. We do that, we put a Miratec around when we use this product. And you see there's nice metal flashing up there. And we're really pleased with the work that our siding crew's done. We've really been, been fortunate to have them for so many years. Um, steps, we put a random flagstone pattern. Stone steps with a... That's a real stone. This, this stone veneer is a manufactured stone put up by Dutch Quality. But it's a real nice product. And I like putting this drip edge up here. And a metal flash. So water comes in, comes down. And that way it drips over and, you know, less chance of it getting behind your stone. This is a uh, fiberglass front door with side lights and a uh, transom overhead. I like the fiberglass because it's... Got a wood grain, looks nice, but there's very little maintenance on it. And of course we have our uh, stained knotty pine ceiling. You see, you still need to finish up the paint here. Got the painters coming in a couple of days. And we have two mirror tech columns here on top of a stone, stone pedestal for the column. Uh, these railings, they're power coated aluminum. I just like, they're kind of pricey, but I like them better than a wood rail because you're not, you know, there's no maintenance. Set it and forget it. Anyway, oh, and went on the sidewalk. Our good friends over at uh, Lake Norman Concrete Finishing did a great job for us. But we just did this walk, so you're not walking through the mud to get into the house. And we're going to tie it into the garage. After we build the garage, we're going to tie it into the driveway there. We did that so we get some basic landscaping and flower beds in here and make it, get it, get it so uh, our client can move in. Anyway, let's go inside and take a look. And when you come into the foyer here on this house plan, now you kind of get that raised ceiling, that 10 foot ceiling in the foyer, and we like to put a nice crown mold. This goes into your great room. And when you come in, you've got this room over here. And we put the double glass doors. That's, we call it the flex room. It can be an office, 
a lot of people use this as a home office. Not as many people are using the formal dining room anymore. But you can open these doors and you can easily make it a formal dining room. And we did put the wainscoting around it, which is a trim on the lower part of the wall. This is a little different than the Craftsman one because it's got a bull nose. And we put some of the, it's called base cap, that molding around there. But we like to go with a seven and a quarter inch baseboard, pretty much as our standard. And with that nice trim, we put the receptacles down in the baseboard. And we have a six over one window grid pattern. And we're going to get some uh, blinds and shades on there. Anyway, and this one we also, it's got a raised ceiling and we put a crown mold up there. Sometimes we do a tray up there. Um, anyway, that nice airplane prop fan. Anyway, and uh, it's a vinyl plank flooring. A luxury vinyl plank, which is real popular. And this particular gentleman did what a lot of people are doing nowadays, and they chose to not put any carpet in the house. They're just like, forget it. I don't want carpet. I don't want to clean it. I don't want the hassle. So in this bedroom, in this bedroom, it's the same thing. Now we went with a tile floor. This is the bathroom. This is the hall bath servicing, the two bathrooms. It's got a tub shower. That's about my favorite fixture right there because you've got a standard shower if you want to take the wand down. And it's just not real complicated with diverter valves and a bunch of different things. Um, and of course, our standard commode. We like the elongated bowl. There one. And that's our standard fixture from Delta, Delta Linden. And we uh, granite tops in the, in the secondary bathroom. And we've got light fixture with the Edison bulbs. That's pretty cool. Way in this front room on this Jordan 2 model, what we like to do is we vault the ceiling just because the way it works out, we can. And it kind of makes this room a little more grand. And customer choice, they want the TV on the wall sometimes. If you're going to put the TV on a piece of furniture, we'll run the TV jack. You know, receptacle for the TV there. Our standard closets. I like these double ball catch doors. I don't like bifold doors. As I said in my other videos, that these bifolds tend to be tend to break very easy. So, anyhow, that's our closet with wire shelves and some high lows, high and low shelves. Anyway, the other bedroom that is bedroom two, bedroom three, over here. And it's nice about this plan: the kids' bedrooms or guest bedrooms, whatever, uh, the spare bedrooms are on the other side of the house uh, from the master. Anyway, same thing. We like our double ball catch doors for our closet. And with a trim, we go. We like to go pretty standard with three and a quarter trim whenever we can. That anyway. So that's the front part of the house. Um, when you come in here, what we change from the original Jordan to the Jordan Two is you have this big island here, and that's where the, the fridge is going to go. So this big island's got a nice quartz top, and needed a gray island, which uh, contrasting with white. You got a white white with a gray quartz top, and a gray with a white quartz top. Anyway, but that your kitchen area is right out here. Get your dining area over here, kitchen area over here, and your great room over here with your fireplace. So with that fireplace, that's actually what's called reclaimed wood. It's just an older wood they reclaim and mill down so you have that aged wood look. And we built that surround on the fireplace. We have a small hearth here. And you've got this is called a leathered granite. You've got actually, it's actually got a texture on it. Uh, it's with the surround. And I really, we're really pleased with the way this turned out to be because it's it's not overstated but it still is very nice and very formal now we still gotta do something with that that's a solid cedar mantelpiece and on the side you put those transom windows so it gives you privacy from your neighbor next door but you can still see trees and whatnot and get some natural light in the house and he did some technology wiring so he's going to put either some speakers or something down there down on the side and then we ran these conduits up here. And what's nice about this wire, it's a conduit, it means just a long tube. So if you wanna get, if they change the wires, change the technology, whatever the new wires are, you can feed down through that tube and fish it out to where you need it. So anyway, and that's for right here is your central vac. Yep. Or centralized vacuum. Anyway, so if we look at the, this, this is the core living area. In the kitchen, you've got two pendant lights over the island. You've got the bar, so you can put some chairs there. You've got a 60-40 sink. 
Now we do these things, and this is called a 60-40. We've done a 50-50, or we, what's popular now is one great big open sink, which is my favorite, but everybody to each their own. Now this is a 30-inch range, over-the-range microwave, and the subway tile. The subway tile has a little wave to it, a little tat pattern, a little texture, but it's still fairly simple and clean lines, and that's what people are going for is the clean lines. And right over here, we got USB ports if you want to plug your phone in. Uh, whatever. And under cabinet lights, of course. We try to do that pretty standard, have the under cabinet lights. So that's where your refrigerator is going to go. So we'll take one more look around this great room area. Ties in your kitchen and into your hallway. Got two back bedrooms over there, and that's your office dining flex room. So if somebody is working in there, they're out of the hustle and bustle of the whole house. Um, we have done built this house where we put the fireplace here. We just went with a double window and a single door. And we've got a PVC deck. And a PVC board. will never rot or split. You don't have to stain it. Um, and we went with a screen porch. Screen porch. Aluminum rail. And on the back here. After they build the detached garage, it's going to be over here. It's going to have a port, and they're probably going to come here and pour concrete and get this set up. But for right now, it's just steps down to gravel, so you're not stepping in the mud. We've got a landscaped, and they've got a bunch of leftover dirt here because we're going to backfill and might have to build up for where where the garage goes. Um, I'll probably make a video on that because detached garages are very popular. This is called Screenies. This product. It's just metal, and it's got a metal, it's a metal spline with a plastic cap on top. So if you ever have to repair the screen, it's a fairly simple process. And you don't have to tear things up. You just pull the metal cap off and put a new screen on there. And the screen lasts a good long time, but sometimes it takes a beating from pets and whatnot. You have to replace it. That's a cool fan right there. And once again, our knotty pine tongue and groove ceiling. And this gentleman put four can, recessed can lights out here. So it'll be plenty of light. Plenty of natural light. And you get a good view of the whole neighborhood here. And springtime's here, so you should get a good stand of grass, which will probably take a lot of abuse in the hot months, July and August. But then if you overseed in the fall, uh, you get a real nice lawn. Right here, you've got, uh, you know, you got your cable and your receptacles that hang, you can, Hang a TV up there. A lot of people like to do on their back porch. Anyway, let's go check out the master suite. Oh, when you come in the laundry room, that's from the garage. You're going to have a washer dryer here. And which we call this a drop zone where you drop your coats. So you got cubbies for your shoes. Put some hooks up here for your coats. And another cubby up top. Um, this is more of a craftsman style, so we didn't put a crown mold on it. Um, this is just a spare closet, could be coat closet, whatever, vacuum cleaner closet. And here's the master suite. And there's the Mike Palmer Homes window seat. You went with a dark blue, dark blue cushion, which I think goes real well with this. Uh, master bed is going to go right here. You got windows on either side for natural light, and also you got USB ports there for phone and iPad charging. Uh, we, hung, we put the TV ports on the wall. So you can hang the TV on the wall. And of course you've got, we've done a lot of different configurations, but when we, people like to either charge their phone or plug in their computer, but on either side of the window seat. So we put receptacles there and up high, we put crown mold and a light. So it's almost like a little private space. We call it an away, an away space. It's almost like a little room within a room. Um, here's the master closet. I like these double doors. That's one of my favorite things to do. Because uh, these doors, when they don't swing, they, they don't, when you cut them in half, they're not, it's not a big wide swing and it doesn't take up too much of the, of the room. And he's going to be doing his own closet shelving in here. So he's going to be doing his own shelf organizer, but it's just a nice big open closet at this point. Now we'll check out the master suite. Once again, Double ball catch doors, because this door spends a lot of time being open. You've got a nice tile floor, nice 12 by 24 gray tile, and we run the length of the tile with 
because it's a long narrow room so we run the long way with the long part of the room his and hers with drawers sometimes we put a knee space there if people like to sit down in front of the mirror but some people like the drawers the drawers and big vanity and we get two mirrors there's two wall mirrors some people do the hanging mirror uh, they just got put up so they're not cleaned up still got some fingerprints and stuff on them but they'll they'll be cleaned up real well here and you got a towel ring on each side you've got here's another linen closet in the bathroom i like to have a linen in the bathroom because that's where you're using your towels and stuff so uh you know he's going to be a closet organizer in there you got a separate commode room here some experiences should never ever be shared so we like to whenever possible put this in its own separate room and last but not least we have the master shower this is what we call a zero entry or a zero curb shower because there's i mean from here there's no place you know there's, there's nothing to trip on and it's just tapered down and you don't have a door so you just sit there knowing the open lets all the steam get out and we like to put a transom window in there and one of my favorite this is the same you know tiles on the floor this is 12 by 24 but one of my favorite details is uh this waterfall tile effect i like that better than the band around i don't know why it's just one of my things and this one put the controls over here so you can turn the water on while you're not in the shower some people like the controls over there we like to walk through with you and let you put it wherever you prefer and this is just a uh, plate glass which this does cost a little more but you save money on not paying for that shower door so helps offset the cost of the extra tile than a regular shower and we have that niche back there for all your shampoo and whatnot and that's nice because you don't when you're out here you're not looking at it you're not looking at the used shampoo bottles and the grab bar it's always a nice feature as well uh, especially uh, you know, a lot of people come down here are empty nesters so it's nice to have have that and as well they put a towel bar at the end of the shower so when you come out of the shower you can still have your towel and you don't have to drip on the floor or anything and it's all tapered down to a nice square grain and that's just a mosaic just like an octagonal mosaic tile so so again you got a lot of clean lines in this bath in this master bath as well but it kind of hits all the bases now let's go upstairs and take a look at the bonus room now stairs aren't painted that's all going to be white but i like to go with a real wood stair um, i'm not crazy about you know they have matching parts to little pieces that go over the stair treads but i'm not crazy about them i, I like to just go with a real wood and we stain it we do the best match we can it's not exact but you're gonna have a riser here and that's gonna be your only color change. So they're still working on the stairs, but they're a nice oak stair, nice oak rail to match. And we come up here and once again, they've got the same vinyl plank as they had through the house up here in this bonus room. These bonus rooms are great because you got a big dormer so that uh, you can get natural light and see what's going on in the neighborhood. Got a ceiling fan in the middle get back here now this is a three-car garage but we only did a two-car bonus room because in this part he was going to have a raised garage ceiling for a lift on the car but then at the last minute he decided it was high enough so we just made it a flat ceiling so with a three-car normally we can push that back instead of having a triple window we'll have two double windows and it makes this room even bigger when you do it with a three-car garage build it that way this also this bonus room in this model has a bathroom and a uh a big closet so this can almost be like a suite in-law suite guest suite playroom all sorts of things and uh, if you have an extra kid or a teenager wants their own private room this works well and it's got this great closet like the size of this closet stuff over here you can hang a million clothes here and have shelves over here so you got all sorts of room for all sorts of extra things and you've got this great bathroom and this, by the way, this Jordan 2 is our best-selling house. Um, the Jordan and Jordan 2, they just kind of click all the boxes and they have a lot of features and it builds pretty efficiently. Um, but having this extra bedroom bathroom suite up here in the bonus room is a really nice feature. It's so again, the same gray 12 by 24 tile. Because it's a standard vanity with a, with a granite top. The mirror's not up yet. The mirror's coming, it's got the clips. Um, and we've got uh, you know fiberglass tub shower now we've done also we've done showers up here we've done tubs 
we've done it, we've skipped this shower tub, but it is nice to have a nice guest area or people come for any sustained amount of time or adult child, mother-in-law, this is a great area for them and they kind of have their own space. Now, another thing I like doing, right here, this door goes to the attic. I like to have a nice attic. I like to have a full-size door. I hate bumping my head on the door. I remember the little scuttle doors, like that door over there, we had no choice. But, you know, if you want to take anything big into the attic and put a nice, you know, put a nice, we, we put, this is where we put a lot of spare parts and stuff, but um, put a nice plywood floor down so they can stack up Christmas decorations or all, all sorts, sorts of things up in this attic. So that's pretty much the whole inside living area. Now let me show you down in the garage. This has got one of the crown jewels of this place. There's a garage and he's gonna probably be building a detached one. So there'll be even more space. But you come through the laundry room with your drop zone. So when you come in from the garage, right? There's your stairs in your garage and we try to have only two steps so it doesn't stick down too far. You got a nice, they call it a, Utility sink, some people call it a slop sink, but if you have a mop or stepping something nasty or washing your hands or doing mechanic work, it's nice to have the sink out in the garage. Or if you gotta wash something, you don't have to bring it into the house or go out and unwind the hose. But it's a three car garage. So you've got single car and a big 18 foot double car garage and door and uh, a walk door, which is real nice. Cause that way if you just wanna walk out, get something outside or put something in the trash, you don't have to run that garage door up and down. And he's probably gonna be putting a lift over here because he does a lot of automobile work. And we've got these six LED lights in the ceiling, so he'll have plenty of work. Now, a lot of times for people that are car enthusiasts, rather than having a regular garage door opener that hangs down from the ceiling, if you wanna lift the car up, they went with these Sidewinder garage door openers that'll take up space in the ceiling. Over here on both these, so you get the full height. Some people store, we have people store, and one guy collected Corvettes, so he would, you know, had a double-decker storage rack for them. Come out here, once again, the gravel isn't poured yet, and you can see we got these nice uh, coach lights over top of the garage door. So anyway, so that's a garage, and I imagine, oh, right here, also, We've got, a, it's called a transfer switch. That is uh, put on there because he wants to get a generator. So that's set up for, if he wants to have a whole house generator. So if the power is ever out, you know, he's covered with that. So anyway, that's pretty much view of the house. There's our dormer up top. But this house has, is pretty complete. You've got a bonus room with a full bath. You've got dining room slash home office. You've got this one's got a three-car garage. You got done it with a two-car and a three-car garage. You got utility sink. You got a master suite. You got a split floor plan. Big island, drop zone, and uh, for all the, the features that and screened-in porch um, customers are wanting, this this kind of checks all the boxes. So anyway, if you found this useful, uh, I have to. Ask the obligatory, please hit the like or subscribe button. And uh, um, we appreciate you visiting our site. If you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to contact us. Thanks again.